in a final push to sway voters, Clark's Butte Miner and Daly's Anaconda Standard resort to personal smear campaigns. So now these two uh, extraordinarily wealthy men could attack each other through their rival newspapers. Helena is a town filled with ostentatious millionaires in their imposing Victorian mansions. It is heavily anti-labor and marred by the lawless and criminal classes. It became bitter, it became fierce. Marcus Daly's anaconda for the capital cigars were in fact rolled by the hands of scabs. Non-union strike breakers, proving his company is an alien and soulless corporation. Should the capital be located in a town owned and controlled by one corporation? In Montana in the late 19th century, there were a whole range of newspapers, like a lot of American communities. Each ethnic group had a small newspaper that catered primarily to their culture. And both of these copper kings will end up controlling a greater and greater range of these daily newspapers. They will simply buy the newspapers and own and control the editors. And so it does warp the whole notion of a free press. And so outspending, out politically slugging one another was the way to continue to fight out this personal battle, this business rivalry. This was going to kind of be the ultimate top prize for them. We have the final count for the capital of the state of Montana. The two men pour hundreds of thousands of dollars what would equate today to millions, tens of millions of dollars, trying to sway the Montana voting public to vote for either Helena or Anaconda. The township of Anaconda received 25,118 votes. The township of Helena received 27,024. I hereby announce Helena as the recognized capital of the state of Montana. Somewhere around 52,000 people voted in that election. It's interesting because there were only about 50,000 registered voters in Montana at the time. So the turnout was in excess of 100%. The people are supreme and the citizenship of Montana has been vindicated. It really is a perversion of the democratic process. This election has prevailed against the most tyrannical corporation that ever attempted to crush out the independence of the people! Helena!